Thousands of ethnic Armenians flee Nagorno-Karabakh after breakaway region's defeat, Nana Pekosian spent Monday morning walking around her family home in Nagorno-Karabakh trying to understand what to take, what is the most important stuff I can fit into my suitcase. Her nine-year-old twin children had been upstairs, deciding which of their belongings they would have to leave behind. They cry for every toy, Pekosian, the American University of Armenia's program coordinator in the region's capital Stepanakert, told CNN, Pekosian and her family are about to join the thousands of people fleeing Nagorno-Karabakh for Armenia, days after Azerbaijan launched a lightning offensive and said it had taken back full control of the breakaway region. Sparking a mass exodus of the region's 120,000 ethnic Armenians, more than 6,500 people had arrived in Armenia from Nagorno-Karabakh by 5 p.m. local time, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, Monday, the Armenian Foreign Ministry told CNN, as many more were attempting to flee the enclave on Monday evening. Local media reported a very powerful explosion at a gas station near Stepanakert, where people had been attempting to get fuel before driving to Armenia, the incident left over 200 people injured, many of them. Badly, according to regional ombudsman Gegem Stepanian, as a result of the explosion in the fuel warehouse, the number of injured exceeds 200. The health condition of the majority is severe or extremely severe. Stepanian said on X, noting that the medical capacities of Nagorno-Karabakh are not enough. Azerbaijan's brief but bloody offensive last week killed more than 200 people and injured many more, before Karabakh officials agreed to a Russia-brokered ceasefire in which they agreed to dissolve their armed forces. Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev said Baku had restored its sovereignty over the enclave with an iron fist. The Karabakh presidency told Reuters that the majority of Karabakh Armenians did not want to live in Azerbaijan.